hi and welcome back to my channel in this video i want to show you how you can do server to client side streaming using signal so for this demo i have two projects in one solution the first one is my client side application which is a simple console application and the other one is an asp.net core 3.1 application and i'm using signal r and hubs in this project What I am going to do is, I am going to send some data over the network. These data are rows from an SQL Server database table. And I have an actual project with lots of data. Um, these are payments in my database, which are uh, about 700,000. And I want to send them all from server application to my client and show them uh, on my console application as you know this is a large amount of data so uh, i want to send this data streaming and each row is going to be sent separately i'm using going to my stream hub here uh, i'm using um, adio and sql connection here um, I have my connection string and my query. I'm sending in all the data. I don't need. I don't have to. I can just pick a few columns that I'm using. But this is easiest, simplest uh, for all of us. So let's uh, see what's happening here. I am creating connection to my SQL and opening that connection using SQL Data Reader to execute a reader over my database table and here I am reading each line or each row um, one by one and showing it on server side also uh, using yield return to return it back uh, to my IAC enumerable this is my server side uh, and on my client side I have my connection to signal R and connection starts here. I'm using cancellation token for you know just being more efficient in case something goes wrong. So the data I am receiving from the server is a tracking code. If you check out my database tables, I have ID, user ID, order ID, and this is my tracking code. This is the piece of data I'm going to stream from server to client. Of course, I can do the whole row, but uh, it's um, for demonstrating purposes, so and it is good enough. So let's run both applications and see what happens. The first one is my server side, the other one is my client side. And as you can see, I am streaming data over the network uh, from server to my client. This is my tracking number and and you can see how it works on the server side i'm logging id order id and uh, user id anyway so this is how you can stream from server to client a large amount of data i have uh, seven hundred thousand of these records and i have slowed down the process uh, just for uh, demonstrating purposes but uh, it will happen a lot more faster in real situations especially if you are using a fast and good network and the one thing that you have to remember is your server side application which is my stream hub has to return an IAC enumerable on last scenario when I was streaming from client to server I was receiving IAC enumerable in this part as an argument, but when you want to stream from server to client, your server has to return an IAC enumerable. As I said before, this is only available in .NET Core 3.0 and C Sharp 8 and later versions. But there are other ways to do this, which I'm not going to use or going to explain because you can find the sample codes online. Um, but in my idea, this is the best way to do this 
especially if you are using uh, later last uh, last and later versions on my client side application which is a console i'm using uh, this stream async and i have to call uh, the same name on my stream hub which is this one and um i get back a stream data and use a wait for each to read each line or each piece of data from a stream in a synchronous way and show it on my console application so this is how you do a streaming from server to client i hope you like this uh, please let me know and um, like share subscribe thank you for watching